Hello, uh, Creative Vision here, and, um, uh, one second, I just didn't, did this video before, but the audio wasn't recorded, so, first, I want to thank for helping me reach 100 subscribers, and so, this is a tutorial on how to change the text, because it was requested by Burning Dark Dragon, um, and so, and this guy is asking for, for me to do a tutorial, so, because of these two guys, I'm going to be making a tutorial now, um, on, uh, how to change the text. So, the first thing you will need to do is open Cinema 4D, and wait for it to load, then open any template. Um, I'll just open Shiny Glow, it doesn't matter which one you open, you change the text the same way. So, and as you can see, it already has my text, and you wouldn't want to export a video with my text in it. You, of course, want to put your own. Um, so, um, I had to change the text. There's two things that look like text, and the bottom one is the top, and the top one is the bottom, which I accidentally messed up, but it doesn't matter. They, um, you still change them the same way. So, um... The bottom one is to change what it says on the top to the main one. And you can type in whatever you want. So I'll just type in like Cookie Monster Shark. I don't know. Um anything. Oh, I don't think it should have spaces. So Cookie Monster Shark. Um actually let me make it something smaller, like I don't know. Call of Duty Fart. I don't know. Um, okay, sure, that works. Um, and if you don't have that font, it will change to a different font when you start typing in the text. So, when you click on the font button over here, you can change it to whatever you want. So, I'll, I'll just make it Arial Black right now, because Arial Black looks nice. Um, when it's all capitalized. Oops. Come on, what? Okay. So, Call of Duty Fort. Wait, one second, I gotta make sure it's not a real channel. Call of Duty Fort. Channel. Nope, Call of Duty Fort is not a real channel. Good. You should, someone should make it. Um, okay. And the bottom one is to change what it says at the bottom, like, like the link. And in case if you don't see this little box, um, you could be in a different tab. So um, click in the object tab and it will come up there. So, and horizontal spacing, it's if your letters are too squished together or too far away. You use that to like put them closer or farther apart. So if you use a font and they look too close, you can move them farther apart. So in the second one, you can change it and type in, like, user. Some people type in user, and then they type in uh, stuff. Call of Duty Fart. So here it is, and when you preview it, it should come up like that. And glow, of course. And there's the glow. And if you want to change the glow color, um, you you can, and it's over here. This one is for the bottom one, and this one is for the top one. I am pretty sure. Let me check. Yeah, yeah, this one is for the top one. This one's for the bottom one. Um, so I'll just change the top. I'll make it red. So you have to change both of these, the luminance and the glow. I'll just make them red. I just suggest you just move this bar. So when we look at it, it's going to be the exact same thing, except glowing in red color. So, right here. Um, and if to export, you have to click on this button, and you get to choose what you want. I'll just make it lower quality, just so it can export faster, just so I can show you guys. Even less, just like 100. Um, if you have a trial, it only lets you export to 360 pixels in height and 640 in width. So, I guess if you have the trial version of this program, 
and make sure this isn't in current frame but in all frames then it exports a whole time composition thing I don't know how it's called and instead of JPEG make sure it's in QuickTime movie and select where you want to export it into I just ex exported over here shiny glow tutorial test um on my hard drive and then you will have to click on the button in the middle which will be exporting it out into the actual thing so let's just wait for this to export it's exporting like what like one frame a second yeah so I'll just wait for this to export and you can click play if you want to preview how it looks right now so um oh okay while well, this is uh, exporting um, uh, please watch my other videos if you like this tutorial please subscribe comment and rate it helps me a lot I have a main channel which was just for special effects but I didn't use it as much oh my god here um I have a normal channel it's called Pwn Productions 100 it has like 165 subscribers or something. Me and my friend, we share it. So if you want some pretty nice special effects, you can go 167. Can you make me an intro? Okay. I'll just make it using my other account. So as you can see, it has like some really good special effects. Um. Let me see something better. Oh well. So, um, we are waiting for this to export. Okay, well, you guys got the point. So, I'll just stop the exporting. Uh, so you click play over here, and then you see that there it is. Um, I'll just close it. Yes, I want to stop it. Go to Finder, go to where you saved it, and as you can see, it is over there. And since I made the quality bad, it's this bad quality. So, um, thank you for watching this tutorial. Please subscribe, rate, comment, like, suggest to friends. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching. Uh, I hope you liked the tutorial, and if you want more, or suggesting what kind of tutorial I should do, put it in the description below. I Not description. You can't put it in description. I will. Uh, put it in the uh, um, uh, comment section, and if you want a tutorial that someone already like typed in, like suggested, just like the comment. So it could be on the top, and I could see it. So thank you. And goodbye.